And good evening, New Mexico. With each day, there are more repercussions in the federal investigation into multiple Albuquerque police officers. Our KOB4 team has spent hours independently confirming the details agents have yet to release themselves that ultimately led to the recent dismissal of dozens of DWI cases. And tonight, we are taking what is the next step in our reporting and letting you know who is the target of this federal investigation and why. And we still want to emphasize none of the people we're about to identify have been officially charged as of this point. Now, here's why we are naming them. Our KOB4 team dug through hundreds of public records to identify four officers in APD's DWI unit. We confirmed all four were just added to the Bernalillo County District Attorney's list of officers who have credibility issues as witnesses in court. We also confirmed the FBI raided the office of a local attorney who represented clients in the recently dismissed DWI cases, as well as other cases. And finally, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Albuquerque confirms those raids are connected to their investigation. And with that, the four Albuquerque police officers at the center of this federal investigation are Officer Honorio Alba Jr., also Officer Harvey Johnson, Officer Joshua Montano, and Officer Nelson Ortiz. A supervisor is also implicated, but we cannot independently identify him tonight. Meanwhile, the local attorney being investigated is Thomas Clear III. Now, here's the basis of this alleged scheme at the center of this investigation. These officers make DWI arrests, the defendants hire this particular attorney, the officers don't show up to court, and then the cases get dismissed. It's really a scenario that happened time and time again in yeah. the cases that we reviewed. But for now, though, let's look at what we've learned about those officers, the attorney, and how exactly we connected them to this investigation. And for more on that, we're going to bring in Spencer Shot now. So, Spencer, we first learned something was going on because of a situation at a home in Los Lunas just last week. Yeah, we confirmed through property records that the home that was being raided belonged to APD officer Harvey Johnson. The FBI raided Johnson's home last Thursday, and that's the same day the Bernalillo County District's Attorney Office dismissed dozens of DWI cases. We determined that he was the arresting officer on 33 of 156 dismissed cases, or about 21% of those cases. APD confirms Johnson is now on administrative leave. Okay. Spencer, thanks so much. So, Trevor, let's talk about Officer Honorio yeah. Alba Jr. now. I mean, he was actually honored for his work against drunk driving just last year. He was. The group known as MAD or Mothers Against Drunk Driving mm -hmm. named him the top officer for the year 2023 in the entire state of New Mexico. Yeah. Here, in fact, is a post on social media in which APD is congratulating him on winning this award. There's one winner from each state, and he was the sole winner from New Mexico. This is dated actually July 26th of last year, so that was only about six months ago. For now, here are a few more facts about Officer Alba. He made approximately $148,000 last year, making him one of the highest earners anywhere in that department. He is also on paid administrative leave as all this plays out. But he's the officer whose name appears the most in the cases that were recently dismissed by the Bernalillo County DA's office. He's named in 72 of the 156 dismissed cases. That amounts to about 46% of them. Yeah, let's get back to Spencer now because Officer Joshua Montano, there's a lot to unpack with him. Yeah, Officer Montano has been on APD's DWI unit for a long time. In fact, back in 2022, a drunk driver crashed into Montano's patrol car, severely injuring him. The community and local churches came together and they raised thousands of dollars for him through a GoFundMe to help with Montano's medical expenses. Now, he was the arresting officer in 44 of the 156 dismissed cases, around 28%, and he also is on administrative leave at this time. All right. And then the final officer we can confirm tonight is Nelson Ortiz. Yeah, Ortiz is yet another member of the DWI unit who happened to be one of the highest earners for the department last year. He made around $136,000. He's also reportedly on paid administrative leave right now, along with three of the four others under investigation. Once again, of those 156 cases dismissed as of now, his name appears in 11.
of them. Mm -hmm. Right now, let's focus more on the attorney, Thomas Clear III. So, Spencer, what have we confirmed about his connection? Well, Trevor, he was the attorney who represented a lot of the defendants in these dismissed cases. We confirmed the FBI agents raided his Albuquerque office last Thursday, the same day they raided Officer Harvey Johnson's home. Neighbors told us five or six FBI vehicles and twice as many agents showed up at that home or that home office early that morning. They they say that agents shouted search warrant, FBI, come out multiple times before realizing no one was home. They had to use a battering ram to break down the front door. This is kind of out of the blue, not something you expect in your neighborhood, especially with the neighbors you interact with frequently enough. And so the final element we really needed to feel comfortable to independently connect these officers to the investigation came earlier today. Bernalillo County District Attorney Sam Bregman confirmed all four of those officers were recently added to his office's Brady or Giglio list. What exactly yeah. does that mean, though? For that, we'll send it back to Spencer. Well, the Brady or Giglio list is a list of law enforcement officers who have credibility issues as witnesses. D.A. Bregman confirmed that he, they added four officers recently. That's Officer Alba, Montano, Ortiz, and Johnson. They were all recently added. And prosecutors have to disclose this list to the defense if any officers on this list should be called to testify. Representatives with the Law Office for the Public Defender say the Giglio Brady list is one way to hold public office officers accountable and ensure that their testimony in court is reliable. D.A. Bregman said at the end of the day he had no other option than to dismiss 156 active DWI cases, some of them tied to these officers. DWI cases are, are, are focused on the testimony of, of the DWI investigating officer. So without that testimony, um, there's, there's no way to continue on with that case. And uh, it's extremely disappointing. It's very upsetting, uh, but it's something we have to do. I think in due time, um, people will understand why they, why they were put on that list. Bregman says his office reviewed more than a thousand DWI cases after learning about this federal investigation, and he's not ruling out the possibility of having to dismiss more. Yeah, that's the disappointing part here Definitely. among many. So the question a lot of people have at this point is why did these officers not show up to court? Was there an incentive? That's part of the investigation nobody is clarifying yet. So I asked Bernalillo County District Attorney Sam Bregman about it on KOB4 at 6.30 earlier today. I know you're probably going to say you can't answer, but I have to ask. Sure. What you could possibly tell us why these officers were reportedly not showing up to court? What Was there an incentive? Let me, let me put it to you this way. Um, there is an ongoing federal investigation. Mm -hmm. um, I want the federal authorities, the FBI, the U.S. Attorney's Office to do a thorough, complete investigation to root out any issues that they see. Mm -hmm. And um, when they complete that, uh, I imagine a lot more will come to light. Mm -hmm. But at this point, I don't want to compromise that. I want them to be able to do their work. That's fair enough. Our KOB4 team will stay on this investigation. We are expecting more information from the U.S. Attorney's Office in the coming days. Again, none of the people we named tonight are charged at this time. But could this impact other drunk driving cases in the metro? And what does this mean for our police force and, of course, the New Mexicans it serves? You can see all of our coverage on this investigation at KOB.com.